All right, what's up boys? Today we're gonna be talking about lossless scaling. I'm gonna keep this video pretty short and simple. The first thing I wanna tell you guys is what lossless scaling is. It's basically an app that lets you stretch your game to full screen and use frame generation without making it look like you're playing Roblox. So kind of think of it like Photoshop, but for your game, except it doesn't crash every five minutes like Photoshop does. It's super quick and easy to use. Of course, you have to buy the app first. You can buy it on Steam and I'll have a link in the description for that. But once you have it, go ahead and open it up. You'll be met with a screen like this. You should have your default profile here on the left. If you guys are like me and you like dark mode, click settings here and change your theme to dark and then we can go back i have the settings here pre-optimized for you guys and that way it's real easy just for you guys to follow i'll kind of explain each setting too that way you guys know exactly what it's doing the first thing we're going to want to do is set our type to lsfg 3.1 this is lossless scaling's frame generation which is what lsfg stands for 3.1 is the latest version so of course we always want to use the latest if you're watching this video a little bit later and they've come out with a newer version than 3.1 of course just go ahead and pick that one the next thing is mode we want to keep this on fixed what fixed means is it's always going to multiply your frames by the number you set here so it's a fixed multiplier so for example if you're getting 120 frames and you have a fixed multiplier of two then now you're going to be getting 240 frames because it's 120 times two so this flow scale setting right here what it does is it sets the resolution percentage that the frame generation engine uses internally to calculate new frames if you guys have a pretty powerful gpu i'd recommend just cranking this all the way up especially if you're on a 1080p monitor then i'd keep this all the way up of course the closer you are to 100 it's going to produce smoother motion fewer artifacts because the frame generation has much more detail to work with if you're on a 1440p or 4k monitor you can turn this down a little bit because you do have more pixels on the screen so it's not going to look nearly as bad but for me i have a powerful gpu so i'm just going to keep this at 100 i'd always leave this performance mode on it is going to lower your latency a little bit you can see what it says there it's just a faster version of lsfg it says it's going to give you slightly worse quality but i'm not going to lie i can't even tell the difference and it's less latency so i'm all about it the capture api i'd always just keep on dxgi i do want to mention that wgc only works on 24h2 and above if you are still on 23h2 and you select this then it's just going to fall back to dxgi anyway and you guys know me i still hate 24h2 for gaming i highly recommend sticking on 23h2 the capture api is not that important it's basically just how the software refers to the capture and hooks into the game's frames basically it's just the method that the app uses to grab video output from the game this queue target i'd pretty much always just set to one this queue target i'd always just set to one what the queue target means is just how many frames it buffers before showing of course zero would be the lowest latency but it is going to come at the cost of some stability so i like to leave it at one that way there's still at least that one frame buffer it smooths things out a lot and the added latency is just so minimal that this is worth to do it for the performance. This cursor setting here is all preference. For scaling, I'll just turn this off. If you guys aren't resizing your game's resolution at all, then of course you can just leave scaling off. So for example, we're not scaling 1080p to 1440p or anything like that. I'm just gonna leave that off. Since we're leaving this off, these two settings don't matter. So if you are scaling up, I would use LS1. I'd put your sharpness to either zero or one. Of course you want performance on, leave the mode on auto and change the mode to full screen. Like I said though, 99% of us probably are not gonna be upscaling. So I'm just gonna leave that off. For rendering, for rendering on the sync mode, I would just say off, allow tear Again, this is going to give us the lowest latency. We're basically adding no V-Sync through this. And then the max frame latency is just set to one. Once you guys copy these settings, you're good to go. All you have to do is click scale. A little counter will come up here. If you click the counter again, it'll reset it. So once you click it, you have five seconds to tab into your game. Make sure you're on windowed full screen mode and not true full screen mode. After you click that button and then tap into your game, after the five second countdown, your game will flash a black screen. And then loss of scaling will kick in and you'll have your frame generation with the lowest latency possible. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next check out my other videos on my channel as well i have tons of optimization videos posted already if you guys want an optimization on your pc by me personally book an optimization on my website science.net and i'll optimize windows bios drivers mouse keyboard controller overclocks everything your whole system head to toe and that way you have full peace of mind knowing you have the best optimizations on the internet but other than that though guys hope you guys have a great rest of your day peace